Here we go. Gardening with Bino. Episode one, watering the garden. It's a little too much. Maybe flat. We're looking for flat. Much better. A lettuce. Looking beautiful. Tomatoes. Oh. Got a whole double bed of tomatoes all the way down the line there. Putting that work in on the garden. Wednesday morning. Yeah, give them a good, you know, not too much. It's early still, so you don't want to water in the middle of the day when it's like as hot as it's going to be. That'll create like a, a hot soil that'll like literally burn your roots and kill your plants off. So, doing pretty good there. My kale bed. These things, remember, I don't know if you guys remember or not. I was extremely worried about these kale seedlings, but they really did. They perked up good. They're starting to multiply. You see at the bottom of that one, a little bit of extra coming up. I'm gonna have my kale chips in maybe a month or so. I'm gonna be munching on my kale chips. So they're doing pretty good over here. That's my uh, pepper bed. Wanna get a good look at them. Looking pretty good. Pepper bed. These are the little guys that we got here. Those are the bigger ones that we got. Really coming in good. All right, we're gonna go down below in a minute here. Two lanes and cups here. We'll give them some water, you know, make everybody happy. Looking good. We don't need a lot, just a little water. More maters down the bottom here. San Marzano. Got the Kellogg one, San Marzano. Those are the bigger ones. There are some Gilberti's natural herbs, organic. They weren't cheap, but they're doing really good. They're like probably doubled in size just since they went in the dirt a couple days ago, so. The beds are a mixture of, um, so we got some cheap topsoil. We loaded them up pretty much three quarters of the way. And then I mixed a bunch of different stuff I got for my job. Pro mix, a bunch of organic planting bed mix and all that. So coming in good. This is fun documenting the garden. You know, you guys should do it yourself. You know, just grab a little, you can do it with your phone. I got a GoPro. Grab yourself a GoPro. And get it going oh my wife put in some jade cross whatever that is and some spaghetti squash oh i love my spaghetti squash throw them on a couple of the skewers and cook them mm. some seafood you know what shrimp steak spaghetti squash oh it's good and then we got the corn bed in the back here Right, I'm going to finish watering that, and then I'll bring you on a little bit of a tour of the back area. Coda just chilling. He's a good boy. Give you a little close-up of the good boy. His ears are behind his head. He is not enjoying this whatsoever, but he's a good boy. You're a good boy. Yeah, you don't like that camera in your face, do you? But you're a good boy. A fox glove. She's really doing good. Very beautiful. Getting top heavy. I might need to put a little trellis on it or a post or something. She's getting heavy as shit. Rosa Sharon's. 
you know, I recommend gardening to everybody. It really is a wonderful pastime, you know, keeps you active. If you do a good job, you'll have some really nice tasting uh, vegetables. But it is, it's a lot of work. It really is. It's like my third job. I got like my full-time job. Then I got my side hustle job. And now I got my gardening job. And then documenting it is a whole nother job. But, you know, it's not taking a whole lot of time to do this. I'm just kind of recording it. Not putting any effort into editing it. I just kind of string my clips together. An iMovie on the iPhone. You know... Maybe in a couple months I'm going to get a little more fancy, but for now, I'm just focusing on getting the content out, you know, doing a good job. I really love the GoPro, honestly. I got my earbuds in, still listening to a little bit of music while I'm gardening, and I can still record and talk to you guys. So that's the rose bush. We're going to put a trellis on that this week, kind of stand it up. It's kind of hunching over. It'd be nice to have it stand up a little better. My peonies, they're doing beautifully. Like, I can't believe how good they're doing, honestly. They are really doing good. Hope I'm hung up on something. Hit this one real quick. And then we're just going to hit our hanging strawberries. And after the hanging strawberries, we'll hit the little back garden. And we're going to be done though. I can't say enough about this $20 hose we got from Ocean State Job Lot. It's one of those, like... It's like a, it shrinks and contracts and it makes it super easy to pull the hose around. It's a hundred foot hose and I was really having a hard time with the other hose. Like the big heavy old school hose or these cheap little hoses. Beautiful. It's not the name brand so it's only 20 bucks. There's a $64 hose I really want to get but I can't quite afford it, you know. Especially considering I can get three of these little ones for the price of one of the other ones. So, why am I going to spend 60 bucks when I can spend 20? You could have 300 feet of hose versus 100 feet. That's just me. I'm cheap, though. You know, I don't like spending extra money. Especially when you've got something that works this good. The nozzle is crap. I'll tell you that right off the bat. This nozzle is crap. But I'm going to keep using it until it breaks. And then I got a really nice nozzle I'm going to throw on here. This is the other Fox glove. Hasn't started budding yet. So by the time this one dies, this one should be blooming beautiful. And then next year it'll be an even, uh, you know, it'll come back every year, so they'll be, they'll be even. All right, you got the strawberry, always hanging strawberry, blasting it with some water. Really should be giving it a little, uh, not quite as hard, but what are you gonna do? You know, it needs this water. We're in a rush, so we're just hitting it. All right, then we'll come to the back here. Final part of the video back here. We got our little flowering area. In the flowering area, hit them flowers. Make sure they all got enough water. Over here, these ones not healthy, not healthy whatsoever. But we're gonna try. Try and keep them going. Hopefully, they live long enough for me to revive them. And then, up. Oh. Oh, it's the first time I'm having an issue with this hose. Oh, I hit the dog with the hose. Oh, he was not happy about that. All right, we're almost done. Give it a good watering back here. These are our random vegetables that we, we bought, or we forgot what they're called. I mixed them all up. Mixed them all up. It happened. A cacti plant really starting to look good. That guy right there, he is looking healthy. Oh shit! Give it a little too much water, it'll be alright. As long as I don't break the stem, it'll be okay. These plants are very resilient. I think plants are tougher than humans, honestly. You know, you break something on a human, you're fucked up for a while. You break something on a plant, they start healing immediately. Alright. That's about it for this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour of the garden. I'm going to continue documenting everything and, you know, hopefully we get some good vegetables. Like, share, subscribe for more.